Now, on one of the videos I previously posted, Doug Moon made some pretty nice comments, and it reminded me I tripped my four trips to Texas. I made it four times, and he sent me some pictures. I'm going to share them. This is his old plane, and some pictures of his new plane. And needless to say, we, in the, all the time I've been involved in modeling, going to the Nats, and especially going to Texas, the Moon Brothers, always some of the most fun to hang around with. And Al Raby was a lot of fun. We stayed at his house on one of the trips. We stayed with Richard Oliver and Richard Needy were great hosts. And we always, Bill Rutherford, we hung out at the field and among other people. But those trips to Texas, now I have, there are 25 individual discs somewhere in the world and I don't have any of them. This is, this is the only one I have. So if anybody knows where those original Texas discs are and they send them to me, I can make some more videos. But anyway, the way it worked out, Rich Jacobone and I, as we did previously, got in my van. 24 hours later, we were in Richard Oliver's living room. And each year was just, I just couldn't have more fun than being in Texas. Those trips, some of the best and the most fun times I've ever had in modeling. And thank you, Richard and Edie, and thank you to the late Al Rabe and everybody, the late Bill Rutherford, all of the people that that combined to make those very, very memorable, special trips. And I know Rich Jacobone will never forget some of the adventures. I actually could tell some of the adventures, and I'm not so sure, some of them are a little bit politically incorrect, but maybe someday we'll do it. <laughs> maybe we'll just take a chance. Anyway, this is footage of Al Rabe, some of the rare footage I have of flying his Bearcat. On the mains, beautiful. <laughs> Cat power. Cat power. So if you look close in the background, you notice there's my tiger cat. And I wanted Al to fly the tiger cat, but the day was getting windier and windier and windier as the day went by. It basically was getting unflyable. But anyway, he said, well, okay, let's see how good if you can fly a pattern in the wind on my plane. So I took him up on his offer. 
So with this, Al decides, and the wind is really howling here. You really don't see it on the video, but this was basically the end of our flying. But I really did enjoy flying this plane. Now, it's really unusual. I had never, I had never realized how good these planes look with the big wide body. They really look fabulous from inside the circle. It looks like a scale plane. It's, it's only the fact that you see the wing is a little bit bigger that kind of takes away from that when you see it from outside the circle. And we are on our way to the restaurant. It's been a great contest, a great fun fly. This doesn't get a lot better than this. So I have a lot to thank Al Rabe for. He has inspired me over the years with some of his designs. And I got to fly the Bearcat down in Texas. It was a memorable experience I'll never forget. And every part of that trip was pretty memorable. And Rich Jackabone and I had some adventures along the way where we stopped at a gas station. And this is really a funny thing, among other stories. And we had a bunch of the, the Southern boys with the pickup trucks with the guns in the back looking us over. And there we were with our little white t-shirts and shorts. And they were backing up and looking like they were scared to death of us. And Rich looked out the window and I looked out the window and said, boy, these guys are afraid of us. What's going on here? And then I realized what was happening. Rich had his Stuka in the back window of the, my van. The swastika on the rudder was sticking up way up high, and you could see it from outside the van. And I bet these guys thought we were white supremacists with guns and bombs and 
we were going to terrorize Alabama or something. <laughs> At the time, it was really funny, but Rich and I really did have a great trip. And every part of this trip, and we even got to go, Bill Rutherford got us to go see a, a gentleman that had a real Spitfire that he restored. So much about the Texas trip is memorable. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get my hands on those original discs. I have doctored up this footage, but obviously it's not in full 4K. I, I did not have, nobody had a full 4K camera back then. And you, this is the only footage available. So I'm hoping you did enjoy the video. Again, it's, it's the only footage that's available, and that's, that's one of the sad parts. I wish we had a camera, a better camera back then, higher def camera. Back then, nobody had a widescreen TV, so we didn't even know we needed it. But, and here's the Spitfire with the dihedral. Again, probably inspired by Al, a lot of that, a lot of the stuff that went into my semi-scale designs. I always used to think, well, I'll try to outdo Al on it, but um, I think in the end he won. And to see his planes from inside the circle, they really do look scale. They look more scale than they do looking in, at this view. and. You would not believe that unless you flew the plane and you saw it in real life that way. But that plane from inside the circle was really amazing. And I'm sorry Al didn't get to fly to Tiger Cat. Um, that, that would have been a nice thing to add to his bucket list, of course. And as I close out the video here, I hope you did enjoy it because we're trying to make the most out of the footage and pictures that are available. And again, anybody that would like to return those original discs i will see what i can do to get the quality up and make some interesting videos and i most of all most of all i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did please please hit the like button make youtube think that model aviation is still alive and well in america now i also made one other trip to texas to the lubbock nationals with jim damerel and i have got some stories to share in the future, I just got to get the pictures that I have and those discs. And guys, one and all, thank you so much for watching.